to make sure that we're all on the same page, you've gone to the Microsoft Store, you've typed in the word Xbox, and you've actually downloaded the app, which to me is amazing. Once you have that open, head on over to your profile name at the top, click on Settings, and then go to General. You are now able to change the folder as to where the games are going to be installed. You couldn't do that before for whatever unknown fucking reason. Pick where you want the games to go, and then once you do that, you're also able to move games that before weren't where you wanted them to be. AKA, like me, I had all these games installed before this app went live with this version. Simply click on the three dots, like here for example, go to manage, and it'll say enable the feature for advanced management, and then you just click enable, and because you've already selected your folder, it'll just automatically toss it in there. I'm showing you this game specifically to remind myself and you that not all games support this. As it clearly states here, this game does not support advanced installation and management features, so, you know, they can go fuck themselves. But the rest of the games, it was beautiful. I didn't need to uninstall them and then reinstall them in the proper folder that I wanted. So I just wanted to keep this game, this game, this video fairly short to the point. Hopefully I did an okay job there. This is, isn't so much as like a how-to because it is fairly straightforward. It's more to just kind of even bring to your attention that this is even a thing to begin with. So there you have it. Again, profile name, right? Change the folder and then you can move your games from there by managing them. And there you have it and it even tells you where it is. Because before, it used to kind of just, see? It's naming the folders now that they're installed. So you actually get to see where these games are going and what the name of the folder is. They're no longer named like this. And then you're wondering, well, then why is that one like that? Well, it's because my Forza Horizon 5 isn't completed transferring over. Now we can actually go inside and see what's going on. Because in the old days, it used to look like this. It was a mixture of Windows apps in which it always told you the folder was empty. Uh, WP system and what downloads cache. So these three folders here, not only that, you couldn't even really access them even with uh, the permission. It was like, well, what is all this crap? We, we didn't know what any of this was. So this is why this is a big deal, by the way. That's why now I have everything from, you know, Steam in here, Ubisoft games in there, Blizzard, Epic Games, Origin, Rockstar, now Xbox. And to me, God, what an amazing feature that is, like, incredibly old, but whatever. Anyways, a bit of a rant there. I'm going to end it. That's it. There's nothing else left for me to say. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up as it does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and making me just a little wee bit more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. Not only will I bend it in half, snap it off inside your ass, I'll make sure that every time you move one of your beloved games to your preferred folder, think again. It's actually transferring onto my computer. Where the fuck do you think I got all these games? You think I got the money to be able to afford all this shit? I don't think so. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, maybe I'll give you a game pass for $19.99 and I'll let you have access to your old games. And uh, if not, eh, whatever. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care and who knows, maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.